It's been a loving week for the Sooners as they got another crystal ball that has gone in favor for a safety that they're in pursuit of, which means this Valentine's Day is just getting even more lovely and bubbly. Let's talk about all the big name national recruiting guys that have dropped crystal balls for this young safety that the Sooners are in pursuit of. And we gotta ask ourselves, is this another player that they're gonna be able to land? I don't know, it's early in the recruiting cycle for 2025, but it's never a bad time for good news. But before we do that, welcome to Sooner or Later Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank y'all for pulling up to the channel. Y'all know what it is. If you like this content, hit that like button. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Love to have you join this family of all Sooner fans. Y'all know me from Unfair Sports, but we also got the Sooner or Later Sports channel specifically for Sooner content and uh, always having a blast do it. So with that, let's jump into Marcus Wimberly, who's out of uh, Boxsite, Arkansas. And now he's getting a whole bunch of, not even Arkansas insiders, but the national guy, Sam Spiegelman, as well as a Fong, Steve Wiltfong from 247 Sports. He's dropped his crystal ball. He's gonna end up being with the Sooners. Heck, the Michigan insider even said that he's coming to Oklahoma. But let's look at some film. And let's talk a little bit about Marcus and kind of why I hope Oklahoma lands him. Because there's a lot of freakishness about this dude that it's gonna be a big deal. As always, we gotta look at the measurables. Young man sitting here, six foot one, about 183 pounds. A man as a 17 year old um, out of uh, Boxite, Arkansas. So he's an Arkansas kid, ranked right now in about the top 520 players in the country by, via consensus and composite, three star. So he's not getting a lot of love right now in the ratings. But if you know me, I always tell you our ratings don't matter as much until you really see the product on the field. And the things about him that jump out to me is not only his offer sheet at this early point in recruiting is pretty big. He's got Michigan, he's got Arkansas, he's got Oklahoma, Ole Miss, Tennessee. He's got some big name programs after him, but at his size, he's freakish. And so, Gore's got the film going right now, but he actually, I was looking at some of his uh, social media and he, had on, he was on there, he was pressing 225, 20 times. He squatted six, 365 pounds, eight times. So he's freakishly athletic. He's, freak, he's strong. He's naturally strong. He's got some strength to him. And of course, you know, at that 6'1", 185, he ain't little. And that's something that you can't teach, right? Like you can teach technique, but he's also a heat-seeking missile. I mean, you saw that block at the beginning of the film, right? He just went through and just leveled the dude. Y'all said y'all won't do that can hit, right? You're not going to get that from every single five and four star either, or even three star. You got to find these players that stick out and show out. And like I said, with that offer sheet, I'm not really concerned about his ability on the field. The question is, is what does his technique look like? Is that something that's teachable? And I promise you, I think Brandon Hall can make that happen for him, right? We've seen him work some wonders over the last couple of years. And I think that if you can get a player like this, he will be considered a project. I mean, like I said, he's, a three star right now, and but he's still in the top 550, 600 players in the country with hundreds of thousands of high school kids. That type of project, if he can hit like this, and he goes out there and he's able to pick up the defense, pick up the plays, and able to get to those points. Also, dude runs a 4 4 40, right? He's been clocked at 4 4 there at high school, so he's got the speed, he's got the power. The question is, why is he only rated as a three star, right? That's the question I ask when I look at these players. I always wonder. There's got to be something here that's keeping him from being rated higher. So I don't know. I'm honestly kind of lost for words when I saw that he was only a three star, but could be because he's in Arkansas, small town, small area, not, you know, very well known, maybe doesn't camp. But there's always those questions of what is it about him that jumps out. But at the same time, you got Ole Miss, you got Tennessee, you got Michigan, you got Oklahoma, right? You've got some Arkansas, you got some big programs going after him, SEC specifically. That tells you that there's something about him that, that sticks out. Now, he starts going to camp and he starts showing out. Don't be surprised if you see Georgia throw an offer at him. But also, some of these big schools have certain players they like the most. But if these start getting offers from big... Shh. Just saying. The film tells you enough about how good the kid is. So, that's Marcus. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know your thoughts. How y'all feeling about him? What y'all think? What you think Oklahoma's chance of getting him, right? You've already got... Jonah Williams, which is the big name that everybody wants, the big five-star down there in Texas at safety. We're looking at Marcus. There's a few other I know Oklahoma's looking at. So I asked the question, I wonder if Oklahoma can land. How many of these 
safeties are they going to take this class, right? I need to go back and look at the roster and the class classifications and understand what makes sense for Oklahoma to take. If you made it this far, you like the content, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Love for y'all to join this family of college football fans. As y'all can see, I'm traveling. So I'm trying to make sure I drop content uh, while I'm on my work travel. Personal travel, I ain't record unless it's a big deal because sometimes your boy need a break. So YouTube says check out a video, put it together for you. And uh, yeah, we'll have this. We'll chop it up soon. We got some more recruiting videos to drop. And so we'll have a whole bunch of them coming through the week, through the weekend as I'm traveling. So we'll make the magic happen. We'll talk soon. Peace.